Hey guys, welcome to the Joy of Yoga. I'm Joy Scola and today we are going to be doing yoga trapeze workout for our legs, glute and core. So let's go ahead and get warmed up with the trapeze. We're just going to come standing in front of the hammock, taking our arms behind. You can grab the top handles and then we're gonna inhale, getting into a nice tall mountain. Exhale, sit into chair pose and then inhale up. So let's go ahead and do that five more times. Exhale, sitting back into chair pose. I'm trying not to rely on my arms too much. I still want this to be about my legs. You can even let go with the hands if you want a little extra challenge. And two more times with your breath, exhaling down. Inhale up. Exhale down, and this time hold for five, four, three, two, one, inhale back up. Nice, so then we'll go ahead and take our legs a little bit wider. And then again, you can grab the handles if you want. Um, you can either keep your heels down or lift your toes for a little bit of a plie. We're gonna inhale here, exhale, squat down, and then inhale, push through the glutes to stand back up, not relying on your arms. This is just mostly for balance. Exhale, inhale up, and we'll do that three more times. Nice, and back up, and then inhale, lower and hold, squeezing through the glutes, not putting weight into the hands. Breathe, two, one. Inhale, back up and lower the heels down. Nice, and we'll go ahead and just take some big knee circles. One direction, each side. And then the other, coming, switch your direction with your legs. Nice. So now we're going to sit into the hammock. You can grab the fabric and then we're gonna let our knees drop towards the earth. If this is too much for you, you can always start with one leg at a time, maybe one leg, one leg, then both, or starting from the back position. We'll inhale, exhale, curl. Four more times. Nice, and then slowly lowering the legs, stepping the feet down. Inhale, straighten your legs, take the arms up overhead. Exhale, we're gonna crunch to the left. Inhale up, and keep crunching. Two more times. Nice, inhaling. Exhale, inhale up to center. Exhale over to the other side. Crunching here, so I'm engaging my side, trying to squeeze and pull in with that action. Two more times. And then inhale. Go and let the hips drop. Let your body arch just a little bit. And exhale, pushing into the fabric with your straight arms, tucking the tailbone, coming into more of like a plank. Inhale, drop the hips, let the heart open. Exhale, curl it in. Two more times. Beautiful. And then inhale, let your body come to center. And then exhale, we're gonna shift our weight forward, keeping our feet where they are, taking our arms straight overhead. Inhale, floating back. Exhale, coming forward. I like to try and keep my heels down so it's a little bit of a hamstring stretch. 
You can speed this up a little bit. Just warming up the whole body. A few more rounds. Last time, pushing forward, hold here, breathe. Three, two, one. Inhale, bend your knees, sink your hips, and go ahead and stand back up. So now we'll get into our fabric, taking the fabric nice and wide. We wanna sit, so our bottom, right where it meets our legs, sits right on the edge of the fabric. So I pull the fabric taut behind me as I sit in. Nice. And then take your medium straps, slide them up to the side and spread that fabric nice and wide. And then we're gonna put our left heel in, or your first leg, and then the other side. You might have to lay back to do that, so that's why you need a little bit of fabric behind your back. And then we'll go ahead and reach for the highest handles. So getting nice and strong here, feeling everything engage. We're gonna inhale and then exhale. We're gonna send our hips up towards the fabric, letting our head drop and then exhale down. And do that a few more times, inhaling down, exhaling up, squeezing those glutes to protect your back. Exhale. Beautiful. Lowering down. So we're going to do that again, but this time we're going to tack a little extra on so if you're not necessarily able to go all the way up you can just play with kind of working your hips up um, if where you were at was good enough you can stay there but if you want to take this a little bit further we'll inhale exhale lift bring the knees to our bottom back out and do th two three four and five and back out and setting the hips down. Nice. So we'll go ahead and take our feet out of the slot here. And then this time, sitting up again, making sure that the fabric is down just where your bottom meets your hip, uh, your thighs. And then grab the fabric of the hammock so that way it's nice and low down by your hips. So when you rock back, it sits right underneath your hip bone. And then we're gonna grab for the longest straps here. This is a little bit tricky to start if you haven't done this. I put my elbows on the inside of the fabric and I pull my hands to underneath my shoulders. I inhale here and as I exhale, I push my hands towards the floor straight down as though I was doing a push up. And then you can take your legs out to the side. And then we're gonna exhale, crunch. Inhale, open. Exhale, crunch. Three, four, and five. Squeeze, breathe. Three, two, one. Go ahead and re-tuck those legs Exhale, lower back down. You can let your arms hang here for a moment. Take your right leg and tuck it down by your hip. And then take your left leg, straighten it nice and long, still wrapped in the fabric. And then go ahead and, oh, I'm sorry, unwind your right leg, <laughs> letting it come down towards your hip, pushing through that left leg. So I'm extending through my left leg, pushing into my right leg, bringing my chest back to the front, broadening my collarbone. So this is very active. 
it's not a stretch it's like almost like a workout breathing two one inhale go ahead and wrap that right leg around taking it straight up unwrap your left leg behind you now push through the heel of that right leg push into the ankle of your left foot and then reach your heart back through breathe beautiful and then nice and slow bringing that knee back re-wrapping if you want you can play with like a little handstand business here pressing up practicing your balance <laughs> that's just a little fun one and then slowly release unwind the legs allowing your body whew, to sit back up taking a moment to pause so the blood can come rushing back down hmm. nice so now we'll go ahead and get on the floor Oops. I don't have a mat Ta -da. <sighs> magically a mat appears so I'm gonna lay down on my back and then kind of like what we did when we were in the fabric, we're gonna take the lowest handle, push it up and out of the way and then set our heel in it. And then other side, setting our heel in. So getting a little bit more under, hips under your center point here. We're gonna inhale, tuck our shoulders underneath our spine, lengthen our neck nice and long, and then exhale, squeeze those glutes to lift your hips. And then we're gonna inhale and exhale, pulsing. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly lower, and we'll do a couple more times. Exhaling back up, and five, four, three, two one inhale lower and last time exhale up you can even clasp your hands underneath your spine one two three four five hold out for five four three two one exhale coming back lowering down nice so kind of just like what we did when we we're hanging in our hammock, we're gonna pull our heels towards us. So we're gonna inhale here, getting ready in our spine. Exhale, pushing up, taking those legs out to the side and then pull your heels in towards your glutes. Exhale out and we'll do that four more times. Four, three, two, and one hold for five four three two one inhale out exhale lower nice so last little workout we're gonna do is that same thing again tucking the shoulders lifting through the hips stretch the hips or the feet wide Exhale, bend the knees, pulling in towards your glutes. Inhale, exhale in. Out. Three, two, and one. Nice. Inhale out, exhale lower. Ooh, beautiful. Should be a little bit of a workout doing that. <laughs> Nice, so with our legs staying here, scooch down just a little bit more towards the center hanging point. And then we're gonna push really straight into our legs, squeeze our, our tummy and then exhale, sit up, twist to the left, inhale down. Exhale, sit up, twist to the right, inhale down. Alternating.
two more rounds. And inhale down. Nice, so I like to just kind of grab one strap with my toes. I'm gonna switch my feet so that way they're in the opposite straps. Since my right leg strap fabric is like in front, I'm gonna twist to the left and that'll put me on my belly. So coming forward a little bit more. There we go. I'm gonna plant my hands, grip the fingers, and then exhale, pressing up into plank. We'll take those legs wide and bring back in, wide together. Four and five. Go ahead and lower the knees down, let the belly drop if you wish. Exhale, pressing back up, out. Five, four, three, two, one and hold out, breathe. Maybe see if you can look back at your belly button, pulling your hips overhead, then inhale, lowering the belly back down, gentle back bend. Go ahead and take your feet out of the straps, coming into a child's pose for a moment. Beautiful, we'll inhale, slowly sit up, and then we'll climb into our hammock. So what we're gonna do here is take our left foot, step it in. I like to make sure that the fabric's kind of gathered underneath my foot. Keeping your knee behind the fabric, step in your right foot. You might need to adjust the feet. They can come, the soles of the feet can come together. Knees are behind, then I'm gonna put my arms in almost like I'm putting on a sweater, making sure that the fabric goes below my hips. I'm gonna lower down. See if you can grab your toes or your ankles. Just take a moment to breathe here. Maybe if you let your arms drop towards the earth, you can even walk your hands out and then exhale. Allow your chest to come through your shoulders, breathing. Beautiful. And then we'll go ahead and bring our hands up. Slowly sitting up. Take your feet out. I thought I could do this transition with my feet in. Nope. And we'll take our hands into the fabric stretching it to the sides of our hips. Exhale, folding forward. Wanna kind of walk into a little bit of a down dog or hamstring stretch. So my feet more so are on the floor and my hands can kind of float. Whoop. <laughs> and then getting nice and stable, reaching out, see if you can lift your left leg up, taking it to the outside of your fabric and hooking your foot all the way up. Then exhale, press your hips back and away, stretching through that top leg. Breathe. Keep extending. Beautiful. And then we'll inhale. You can take your left leg down to meet your right. Stepping forward as much as is accessible to you. And then whenever you're ready, taking your right leg up, but make sure you take it to the outside edge of the fabric. Mm -hmm. Might take a little finagling, especially if your hammock's just a hair too tall <laughs> and then kick into that right leg as you sink your hips back and up 
And then pause to breathe. Stay extending, pushing, pulling, engaging. Beautiful. And then we'll go ahead and exhale, lower that right foot down, really letting your arms hang, feeling the stretch on your hamstrings. And then when you're ready, you can grab for your lowest straps. You need to walk your feet back a little bit so you don't go into a swing. And then taking both legs to the outside of your hammock. Coming into a little bit of a hang here, bringing your heels towards your head. If you want, you can come into a little bit of a back bend or just let your head hang through your shoulders. Beautiful. And then we'll exhale, lower those legs down. And then instead of putting your feet on the ground, just let your feet hang. However, you can take your arms overhead or release them to the earth as long as you're not holding the ground. Just allow gravity to do its work for a moment, breathing. And then nice and slow, we'll walk our hands forward so that way our feet can reach the earth, walking them as far as they will go. Inhale, lifting through the heart, making the spine nice and long. We just want a halfway lift, pausing here. So that way the blood doesn't rush down our bodies. <laughs> Breathing. Nice, and then Slowly making your way up. Hmm. Thank you so much for following along. I hope that this made you feel extra strong in your legs, in your core, in your glutes. Be sure to leave me any comments, requests, or feedback. I'm happy to hear from y'all and create anything that you guys might be needing. I hope you have a beautiful day. Namaste.